If you create content that answers the questions people may have when they're researching or thinking about buying your type of product or service, you'll be on their mind when they start searching for a potential supplier of that service or product. For example, someone who keeps getting a blue screen on their laptop, which pretty much means the laptop's nearly dead, may search for why does my laptop keep getting a blue screen. If you publish an article such as this is why your computer keeps getting a blue screen and it does a good job of answering that question, you have a good chance of showing up on Google for this person's search. If they decide soon after that that they need a laptop, you have much more chance of being on their mind as a potential supplier of that product because of your article. Obviously, there are lots of paid options to get found, but this is one way to ensure you have more chance of being found organically for free. Your strategy may include a good blend of organic and paid tactics to capture the attention of your potential customer at the right stage of their buyer journey. You can also use your own Google Analytics to see what search terms people are using that brought them to your site. You can filter your results to see the type of questions, keywords people are using, as in what questions did people type into Google that brought your site up. If you've run pay-per-click campaigns, you'll be able to see which keywords have performed best for you. These keywords should potentially be included in your content going forward to make it more likely to get that traffic for free in future and reduce the amount you need to spend on paid search. You can even run experimental PPC campaigns to get more data on what keyword and keyword combinations work well to get you your ideal traffic to your site. If you like this type of content, just hit subscribe.